What is going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about the World of Warcraft movie and uh, director being uh, hired on Duncan Jones. All right, so production of the movie is supposed to get started this fall, 2013, so which means we'll probably see it within about two to three years type thing. So maybe 2016-ish, as long as everything goes according to plan. Uh, the budget, according to Hollywood Reporter, is supposed to be $100 million. Now, that may be hearsay, and that may not be exactly correct. So as long as it's somewhere around there, should be pretty good. They should have enough to, to do what they want to do with it. Now, here's the key thing about the movie. Um, the question, the main question here is, do I think a World of Warcraft movie could work? And my simple answer to that is I absolutely do, um, for sure. Now, the first reason behind that is because the story of both Warcraft 3 leading into World of Warcraft and all the different stories that World of Warcraft has, I think are pretty amazing. Some of the best stories um, in any video game I've ever played. That's the first reason. The second reason is because World of Warcraft has probably the biggest player base, or if you were to compare the amount of hours people have spent playing different video games, like you took, um, you know, you clocked it. Let's say you took every single hour that people across the globe had played, I don't know, uh, a particular PlayStation, you know, game title, let's say, versus World of Warcraft. I would imagine World of Warcraft would trounce them. Pretty much any game. It might be the most played game in history if it if, if it isn't. I mean, what else would really be able to hold a candle to it? People pay for it. People have been playing that game since it came out all those years ago. And you have to pay monthly for it, obviously, but if you want to get the full full version and everything. Uh, the expansion packs are coming out still do awesome. It still has a huge player base. So it's essentially, if you want to say what is the most successful video game of all time, I think a case could definitely be made that World of Warcraft is that game, or at least one of them, at least one of them. So it's got the following. Now, going on from that, if you've uh, seen or you like or you enjoy The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, any of the Lord of the Rings films, uh, obviously World of Warcraft is similar in a lot of ways to Lord of the Rings. Not exactly. I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but you can see from a uh, sort of... Um, my imagination here, and I'm thinking what they're gonna what they're gonna do with the movie and what they could do and what the opportunities are. I can envision something like Lord of the Rings. You know, if they did it like that, I think it would be amazing. Now, uh, the most important point, the plot and what they decide to go with with the plot. Now, there's a lot of different options. You know, uh, of who they could uh, make as the main character, who they could choose, uh, which you know uh, race they want to go with as being the core. Uh, maybe mix in a couple together. I personally, if I was doing it, and this is what I think they should do, is they should take the story of Arthas. I think so. From the beginning of you know him being you know, uh, a good guy, paladin, going from that to being a death knight and the whole bit. I think to see that on the big screen would be amazing. I really do. That transformation would be uh, very epic and, and something that we haven't probably seen anything like before on the big screen. Um, so that's, for me personally, that's what I would pick. Uh, now what they do with it, I think they're probably having a protagonist like that that's kind of, uh, you know, goes from being a good guy to, to a bad guy. I don't know if they would want to go that route. They'd probably take it more of like a uh, safer route, which is to do like have, you know, your human characters and then maybe have them meet along the way in some kind of an adventure to do something. Uh, other characters from other races to kind of bring them in to get exposure for the world. Um, which I think could also work. It could also work. But it does run the risk of people saying it's a rip-off of Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or these types of things if it's too similar. So they should probably try to make it something really unique and uh, at the same time make it accessible for lots of people. The only downside of doing like an Arthas-type story would be that, um, you know, he eventually turns into the bad guy. Uh, so I don't know if they want to go that route because then a lot of people might, you know, you know, to be safe in terms of the story, you probably want to go with the protagonist that's always going to be a good guy and won't ever turn or anything like that. 
So those are my thoughts on it. It definitely has the potential of being something amazing and definitely doing well at the theaters, that's for sure. Um, me personally, what do I play? Do I play World of Warcraft? Well, I actually still play uh, Warcraft 3, even to this day. Um, I don't play it all the time. Sometimes I'll, I'll let it go for a couple years and then get back to it, but uh, I definitely enjoy it very much and have played World of Warcraft 2 as well. Um, but I just find it too time-consuming, so Warcraft 3, for me, I can hop on, play for an hour, you know, half an hour, whatever, sign off, done. You can't really do much in World of Warcraft in half an hour. Not really. But anyway, I'm pretty excited for the movie. I do look forward to seeing it because I do love, you know, those types of stories, everything like that. Uh, and also to see how they sort of transition it. Uh, hopefully it looks somewhere as good as Lord of the Rings did, something like that. And hopefully it's at least a couple hours long so we can really get a good story. Maybe two and a half hours. If they're going to do one movie, maybe make it two and a half hours, make it dense, and really get a good story for it. I think it could work out perfectly. Um, the director who was hired on, Duncan Jones, I, to be honest with you, I've never even heard of him. Um, he directed Moon, Source Code. Um, I haven't actually seen either of those, but I looked up Moon online in 2009. It was released, and it did really, really well. I do remember Source Code, but I never got a chance to see it. So uh, if he did the you know Moon, he directed that, you've got all the outer space uh, type effects and everything like that with all of that. Uh, I think that you could probably pull it off and do a pretty good job of doing like a, you know, um, fantasy type World of Warcraft, uh, you know, effects and, and land and, and uh, vision and everything like that. So it should be good. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, the World of Warcraft movie prospect. Uh, whether or not you think it's actually going to happen, I think it'll it should happen as long as uh, they get a good script going and everything. Not sure if the script's done or not yet. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to give my thoughts on it. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev. Same piece.